They have no problem creeping into your backyard, stealing any metal they can get their filthy hands on. We are talking about copper thieves who strike your homes, businesses, public parks, racking up millions in damages. Well, today, a new effort in Tucson to get into the minds of these criminals to try to help stop them. Kevin Keene explains in this Not in Your Side Crime Watch. Early one morning, these criminals crept in the back of a Tucson business, yanking out air conditioners for the copper coils inside. In broad daylight, CenturyLink told us imposters used a bucket truck to hacksaw these copper cables strung above our streets. Metal thieves are clearly brazen, creative, merciless, and Jason Wong knows it. I had three brand new air conditioning units vandalized, which cost me over $5,000 a piece to replace. The former president of the Tucson Chinese Cultural Center says criminals have repeatedly struck here. Imagine you're flying a plane and all of a sudden it radar. He's fighting back, arming himself with ways to stop these guys through training put on by TPD, TEP, and the Metropolitan Pima Alliance. Businesses here learn to install lighting, surveillance cameras, and these protective cages for AC units. Still, Wong knows it's not enough. If they really want to steal your metal, they will find a way. But the best way to combat it, combat it is public awareness, just being on the lookout, knowing what to look for in metal theft. Also on the lookout, law enforcement, who will receive training Friday to recognize when thieves might be at work and know how to respond. Maybe they've got some bolt cutters and a magnet and uh, perhaps a uh, headlamp or something like that. They can address it differently. They have that education now that they can ask different questions that can lead their investigation. You're really getting into the mind of the criminal here. Well, we are. We're teaching about how copper thieves think, you know, and what they're, uh, what they're trying to accomplish. Tomorrow's training for law enforcement will have around 115 officers from 25 different agencies, including ones from outside Arizona. It will run all day downtown. That's a big group, Kevin. I know part of the training is letting officers uh, know what to look for, but what's another example of a red flag? Here's one that I found interesting. An instructor told me that copper thieves will often wear multiple layers of clothing. That's because stealing copper can get messy, and so they can just take off one layer of their dirty clothes to not draw attention to themselves, move on to the next victim, and that, of course, would be a clear warning sign and something officers will learn about tomorrow. Well, that is interesting. Kevin, thank you.